what will happen uh, you expected some only 50 files to process every day what will happen if you, you need to process like 100 files and the next thing is if uh, suppose your job has failed once the uh, once it reaches to the silver layer what is what sort of uh, action that you will take what sort of the problems that you encounter our next thing is the backfilling uh, jobs let's say you wanted to load the history data for last two years worth of data for uh, for a new requirement or for new vendor to uh, generate reports how we are going to handle this scenario and uh, is there in a sudden spike in the data volumes how are you going to get uh, suppose you are getting some bad or dirty records how are you going to add it or you know or uh, you know upstream applications wantedly place the duplicated data how we are going to remove it how your target system can uh, handle that uh, duplicates uh, you know you should not uh, move those duplicates to the end users we have to tackle that issue so how you are handling that how we can uh, improve the performance further hello hi guys welcome to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so today we can learn something uh, new today uh, about a project so i have get a multiple uh, requests from our users saying that how to explain a project in the interview so i can explain my uh, i can explain a project in the interview uh, so this is not my original project this uh more a project so we just uh, up to like how i'm going to explain all the projects and cover what are all the details that i'm going to cover and then i can uh, tell you the tips like what to explain and what not to explain in the interview as well so first you can give up of the introduction about your client uh, then you can give a brief introduction about what sort of the business uh, that your client is doing one and you have to explain the purpose of building the pipeline like some uh, some people will uh, build the pipeline for uh, for building the data lakes or data warehouses for analytics for machine learning or for uh, you know reportings okay and uh, so variety uh, objectives are there so you have to explain that uh, objective and then you have to explain the role in the pipeline okay uh, and also you have to explain what sort of the architecture that you have used in the project and uh, as part of the project how you are uh, you know getting your uh, sources how you are uh, trying to process your data and where you are loading the data so what sort of the data that you are getting in terms of velocity volume and also uh, the, you know the structure of the data you have to give each and the every detail and also you have to uh, explain like is there uh, once you explain all the project you have to give like is there any pain points that you have gone through in the interview like the challenges or the optimizations that you have did and you have to give the clear idea like where this project has executed whether it in cloud or it in on-premise or, uh, or somewhere else right so you have to give all those details at the same time you have to cover the points uh, like the functional points like how you covered all the function points and how you have tested that one uh, if possible you can explain like how you tested that one and how you are handling the metadata management and how you are handling the security governance and quality and the schema evolution so all those things you have to explain let me explain this project so that you'll understand a bit like what are all the things that we need to cover in a project hey uh, my client uh, has a business on the uh, e-commerce platform so he has a website where he can post all this uh, product information in the website the users of the customer can whoever can connect it to the website they will get all the details from the uh, website and what are the products that they are interested in uh, they will uh, they will add all the items to the cart and then they will uh, complete the payment process so that uh, they will make an order to us so once the once we collected the order so that information will be received from my upstream to us these also we have to process the data and we have to store the data in the data warehouses so this data warehouses will be consumed by different uh, teams so like machine learning teams for their uh, modeling and uh, analytics team to do any sort of uh, analytics and also uh, we have some power bi reports which can uh, you know which will be consumed our uh, data so many applications are my downstream applications so uh, this is my overall project when we dig into the project for this we have used the medallion architecture so the medallion architecture that we have executed in the aws cloud environment so we have created one dedicated s3 bucket for placing the all my all the source files into that bucket so once the data files are available in that source bucket we have taken that files and we have loaded it into the branch layer for that we have to prepared a job so that job is actually uh, load the data from source system and then load it into the branch layer so while loading into the branch layer 
we have uh, created a separate uh, folders with the date time as partition so inside that it will load all the uh, files so once the files are available in the branch layer so we have a data quality uh, jobs data quality check jobs are available so it will check the basic level of the uh, sanity checks like how like does it has a, a valid schema does it has a uh, how many nulls columns are not all the columns are expected or not is the data is in good shape or not so basic channel sanity checks that we can perform so once the data is in good shape that we identify then we can uh, trigger another job which actually loads the data from branch layer to the silver so once the data in a silver layer it is a filtered and uh, aggregated or cleaned cleaned or filtered data so in the silver layer we have maintained the cleaned and uh, you know filtered data and uh, and also we can perform some quality checks on top of it like uh, you know on the business uh, quality checks like in as there any values in the particular column between this range or not or uh, you know uh, our zip code and all the all other fields are valid or not so we'll do all the uh, checks so if everything is one uh, good then we can trigger another job which will actually uh, pick up the data from the silver layer and will load it to the gold layer so while loading it to the gold layer gold layer is basically kind of a delta lake table so since it is a delta lake table we are implementing the scd type 2 so we have to check whether the record is already existed in the table or not if it is existed we have to go in the upset model if it is not we have to insert the uh, record so this is how we are loading the data from a uh, source to the target uh, layer in between we do have a quality checks and we do following the data governance using the unity catalog like only the uh, authorized people can access the data in between this pipeline and uh, we we have built all those uh, mechanisms are in place like uh, you know we have configured uh, uh, jobs to run the data in an optimal and efficient way so once the data in the core layer so we have given access to the other uh, downstream applications where they can connect to our uh, so uh, our targets and will load the data from it so if there are any issues or any uh, issues with the data or a corruption or any uh, data corruption or anything else that uh, the problems that are related we are responsible for that so to orchestrate the entire pipeline we have used the airflow so airflow is a kind of a uh, scheduling engine so that is well suited for this kind of a architecture so what we do have a dependencies between the silver layer bronze layer and uh, gold layer so to uh, to handle these dependencies we have achieved using the airflow job and airflow job we have uh, enabled the alerting mechanism so that if during this uh, during this pipeline execution if the, at any point of time if we encounter any failures or any issues it will uh, send a alert messages alert alert mails to us so based on that mails we can go and we can check like what went happen so based on it we can take a call whether we need to proceed further or we have to report back to the uh, application uh, team so this is how we have uh, designed the end-to-end -end pipeline and we are maintaining it in the uh, production so this is how we have to explain a, a project like end-to-end -end project and uh, once you explain all the project if we have any other pain points while executing this point you can also highlight that so i'm not highlighting anything in that so you can take any of the uh, performance uh, thing uh, performance thing that you observe like when you are loading the data or when you are uh, well, well you are doing the you know uh, transmission checks and all those things there's only two things that you have to kind of like uh, two things that you have to highlight one is like data quality how you are checking the data quality and the sanity checks and the second thing is how you are maintaining the key, uh, schema evolution like if there are any uh, changes in the schema how you are going to evaluate and all those things as i said in the first uh, checks like when the data is loading into the bronze layer we are checking the schema checks so if the if it fails in the schema checks we need to report back to the application team like uh, this is the schema that we have uh, missed or this is something that extra that we have guarded so what is up uh, how we need to take care of that one so if it is something that we have to implement into the uh, newer system if your target system supports that uh, adding the you know schema flexibility you can go ahead and run the job otherwise you have to update your target systems uh, target tables accordingly and then you have to run your job so all those things you have to keep in mind and be ready for the cross questions as well so once you explain all those things they might uh, ask you the cross questions like uh, you know uh, what will happen uh, you expected some only 50 files to process every day what will happen if you, you need to process like 100 files and the next thing is if uh, suppose your job has failed once the uh, once it reaches to the silver layer what is what sort of action that you will take what sort of the problems that you encounter our next thing is the backfilling uh, jobs let's say you wanted to load the history data for last two years worth of data for uh, for a new requirement or for new vendor to 
uh, generated reports how we are going to handle this scenario and uh, as there in a sudden spike in the data volumes how are you going to get uh, suppose you are getting some bad or dirty records how are you going to add it or you know or uh, you know upstream applications wantedly place the duplicated data how you are going to remove it how your target system can uh, handle the uh, duplicates uh, you know you should not uh, move those duplicates to the end users you have to tackle that issue so how you are handling that how we can uh, improve the performance further so these kind of questions you can expect so be ready to answer these kind of questions for in a project there will be a room for the improvement so okay if i can give you an opportunity like how you can modify this uh, is there any tools that you will change uh, for what and all so this kind of a cross questions that you will get but be prepared for that cross questions so one thing that i have observed in my interview that most of the people were not you uh, know uh, not keen about what are the sources what are the targets and they they are not aware of the uh, objective of the project and the next thing is they haven't prepared for the project like uh, you know high volume spikes in the volumes uh, and the second thing how they are going to handle the metadata management and the security like quality control and uh, schema evolution so the, the, for those things people are not ready uh, in their projects of course most of the projects do not implement all these features but still you have to prepare uh, for all these things uh, to in the interview obviously they will uh, ask all these questions so i hope you like this content if you like the content please give a like and if you have any doubts please add it in the comment section or if still anybody has any issues or anything or if they are struggling at some point so please let me know in the, the comment section and also let me know whether you like this content or not or please give a uh, like we'll meet again thank you